the witching hour july 11th 2024 but first please help my humble channel to grow like subscribe share comment any combination thereof why because you're beautiful on the inside and on the outside and that's why so today was awesome god's awesome praise his holy name i actually did not pray during the witching hour which is 12 midnight to 3 a.m although that is the most often time that i pray i actually didn't start praying till about 2 26 p.m i prayed two hours and 36 minutes the first prayer and then i ate did uploaded videos did the dishes brushed and flossed um finished watching some anointed journey ministry videos then I prayed again for another about 24, 25 minutes. So my total prayer for today, the timed prayer, was right about three hours. So I'm, I'm putting this under the title of the witching hour because that makes sense for me to do. I've seen several videos that came out about quote-unquote new technology where folks who are quadriplegic, meaning they're paralyzed from the neck down and they cannot talk, they have developed technology, recently developed technology, that can literally read their brain waves and then turn their brain waves into spoken word. So effectively reading their thoughts. This technology wasn't like they had a bunch of stuff attached to their head. That's, that's old school. Now, the lady, this, in, in one of the, these news stories, the lady was in the same room as the technology. Nothing was directly connected to her. So, it was being done remotely, even though the technology was not very far from her. So, I strongly believe that they can read our thoughts like Brian too says, no, they can't read our thoughts to the extent where they can see what we see through our eyes. But in terms of words, we know for a fact they can read what you're thinking, the words that are going on in your head. So God has given me or, or is progressively more and more giving me, manifesting the freedom to just pray to him without them being able to mimic my thoughts and try to throw my prayers off. Because a little over a year ago, he led me to start speaking in tongues while simultaneously praying in English. Now, that's not easy to do. When I initially started doing it, I would pray in tongues out loud, and then I would say my prayer in English in my head. But I couldn't pray for that long because your tongue gets dried out, your, sore, your, your throat gets sore. And if you do it every day and, and you're praying for hours, you just wear, wear yourself out. So I had to learn to pray in tongues. My lips are moving, but I'm not doing it out loud. My mouth is mostly closed because the tip of your tongue will get worn out from all the air going in and out. And I have to consciously, conscientiously focus on every syllable of the word of tongues as though I were speaking it out loud and then pray in English all while meditating on the Lord. So the Lord is beginning to give me just the freedom to pray to him because they are not able to mess with my thoughts the way they used to. We'll talk about this more. God bless.